method gang we back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to drastically improve and change your appearance your looks guys look at the thumbnail just look at the thumbnail i like to call these rebirths i've had like five rebirths from that to this to another transformation to another transformation bro i'm i say my peak i've been through my first second it just keeps going man no but let's get let's get straight to it so if you want to drastically change your looks basically there's like six things there's six major things your weight all right your skin your hairstyle your teeth your style your actual what you wear and your smell so that's seven things i said six seven whatever so let's start with the weight the weight is a drastic thing you can change right you're either fat or you're skinny or you're skinny fat you're probably not in shape you probably want to gain weight you probably want to lose weight so what can you do well if you're skinny you want to gain weight you want to look buff jack you need to get in the gym you need to start eating more foods you need to track your protein track your diet if you really want to take it serious just start eating more and start working out bro there's no excuse start this stuff if you really want to transform you got to start bro oh well i don't know what to do oh you want to hear that I have videos. I literally have a coaching program one-on-one -on -one if you really want to do it. And I have a bunch of free videos on how to freaking do it. And there's millions of other videos. So just go ahead, watch the video, how to gain weight, how to build muscle. Just do that. If you're fat as hell, you want to lose the weight, you want to still get shredded, you want to still get jacked. So then lose that weight. Stop eating, dude. Close your mouth. You know how you do that expression when you zip it up? You want to do that because you keep freaking eating, bro. Stop eating, dude. Stop eating. You don't need to eat that much. And you don't need to eat all that garbage and all the donuts and all that. Bro, you don't really want to change if you won't stop, man. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where you have no choice but to change. I got to the point where I'm done. I'm done feeling less. I, I was tired of it. I'm not having it. And it wasn't just from just upgrading my appearance. I'm going to get to that at the last point, hey guys. But let's stick to this, right? So if you're fat, obviously lose the weight, get in shape, work out, whatever. So... That's the first one is the body, the weight. You want to look jacked. You want to have that built physique. You want to have that proper posture because when you start losing weight, everything goes up. Your attraction, your confidence, your look. People are going to start asking you, hey, man, what happened? Hey, man, you look good. What are you doing? Everything, bro. I tell it in all my videos. Dude, I have countless videos on body game. I have countless videos on how to actually build the physique, what to actually do. And this is a major thing you can do. This, this is like the most major drastic change because you can clearly see a drastic change. It's so clear. When someone's fat and then they become skinny. Or someone's skinny, they become jacked and ripped. Someone's skinny fat, they become jacked and ripped. Fat guy becomes jacked and ripped. Bro, it's a huge difference. And it automatically boosts your appearance by a landslide because look around, look around. Everyone's, most people are out of shape. Don't let Instagram fool you. Don't let social media fool you that, oh, there's a lot of people. Yeah, I feel like now a lot of people are getting in shape. But still, it's still an overwhelming amount of people that are out of shape. You know what I mean? They're either skin and bones, twigs, like how I was, or they're fat, obese, out of shape, skinny fat. It, no, dude. And that's another thing. Don't just stop at getting in shape. You want to be aesthetic and build lean muscle mass. I don't want to hear the, oh, well, I just train it, look, feel healthy. Maybe you do. But part of this, you will get healthy. That's the thing. But we want the six pack, bro. We want the six pack. We want the boulder shoulders. We want the freaking, bro. We want it. Like, let's stop. Because like I said, now more people are starting to get on with the program. What should have been is working out and stuff. So you need to stand out because you can still work out and not stand out. You want to be standing out. You want to stream. You want to look completely reform so it's gonna take a while guys this is not overnight but you need to start now so let's move on to the next question the next section which is your skin i had the worst acne on the planet look at the thumbnail look at the pictures i'm gonna put up pictures here look at it look at my now look at my skin before now even now i'm, I'm not i don't have the most perfect skin i actually have very very acne prone skin to be honest and right current in this current moment i've been going through a breakouts for a, a little over a couple months now actually but nothing like how it was before. And at a certain point, I had clear glass skin. Dude, you would never tell that I ever had acne in my life when, when I was in that point, right? I'll put pictures of that too. But uh, skin is a major thing. 
I had cystic acne. I had the worst skin routine. I had the worst skincare plan. I didn't know. Dude, my skin was so bad that it hurt to move my face. I literally could not make, I couldn't smile. I couldn't make expressions because it hurt. It literally hurt to do it. That's how bad my acne was. I got rid of that. I fixed that. What did I do? I had to go on extreme, take extreme measures. I've tried every cream on the planet, benzoyl peroxide, freaking 10%, everything, nothing worked. I had to hop on Accutane and I suggest everyone does that. If you have the worst acne, if your acne just won't go away, you have a skincare routine, you've been trying this, you've been trying that, just go on Accutane, bro. Oh, well, it's harmful for you. Dude, you're gonna be, rec you're gonna be obviously monitored by a doctor. You're gonna get your blood tests. It sucks, going on it sucks because you're gonna feel effects, but you might not. Not everyone feels the effects. I had horrible side effects of it, but would I do it again? Yes, and I'm actually thinking about going back on it. If this doesn't, if I'm gonna give this like two more months, a month, and if it doesn't, then I'm, I'm going back on it. I don't care, you know what I mean? But if you don't need to do that, hopefully you don't need to do that, and you feel like you don't really have bad acne, it's more like your skincare is out of order, I recommend you fix your diet, right? Your diet to lose weight, but your diet is also improves your skin, right? It really improves your skin because I know if I eat anything super high sugar, like say if I eat a candy bar or whatever, right away, the next day, I break out almost immediately. Even hours later, I'll break out, literally. Some people, I, I don't have the luxury to really eat bad without completely suffering the side effects. But some people, they can eat whatever and they don't break out. But if you really want to improve your skin and really get that glass skin, it's really a lot about the diet and the vitamins you take, right? So if you eat high fats, like avocados, clean foods, eggs, stuff like that, your skin automatically is going to improve because you're not feeding it garbage. You're not feeding it processed garbage. You're not feeding it, you know what I mean, sugars and all this crap. It's going to get better. You need to take, like I said, eat those foods and you need to take a multivitamin. Just take a multivitamin, bro. Just buy whatever multivitamin, take that. You know what I mean? And you got to take, I'm trying to think of the name, biotin. And what is the name? I can't think of it right now. Oh, what is it called? I can't think of the name, but it's this other supplement that's basically kind of like biotin, but it's not. I can't remember the name. Whatever. That's going to piss me off now. But you got to take those things, okay? You got to drink water, at least 200 ounces a day, a gallon a day, whatever. And uh, stop drinking soda. Stop drinking all this garbage, high process, all that crap, bro. Stop drinking it. It's going to improve your skin. That's going to improve the inside, and it's just going to automatically start helping your skin. Then you need to hop on a skincare routine. What skincare routine should I hop on? Well, listen, I recommend you start just, you don't need to go have a crazy skincare routine, nothing. If anything, the simpler, the better, right? So I recommend getting survey, regular facial cleanser, whatever, and the moisturizer. That's it. That's all you need. Just do that. Start eating better. Start working out. Start sweating out. You know what I mean? Stop drinking the soda. Stop drinking the high sugar. Stop eating garbage, bro. Processed foods, all that crap. You're going to improve your skin. It's going to get better. It's 100% going to get better. Like I said, if you have to take extreme measures, hop on Accutane, right? So once you do that, you're going to transform. You're going to get more confidence. You're going to get, everything's going to get better, bro. So let's go to the next step. Your hairstyle, man. This is a big thing from the thumbnail. I got to keep mentioning the thumbnail because I had a buzz cut. That is, does not fit me. Look at the hair, bro. I had a buzz cut, acne, man. You got to experiment. Obviously, the buzz cut did not work for me, but I have different hairstyles that work for me. Long hair works for me. That curly kind of afro look where it's like short but still full works for me. Taper works for me. I don't really like fades. It doesn't fit my frame. But you got to find what fits your frame. Like some people, they look amazing with buzz cuts. Like my brother, he looks really good with a shaved head buzz cut. Like he, that's, he looks great. You know what I mean? But he can also rock the more fuller hair and stuff like that too. I can't rock the buzz cuts. I can't do it. It just doesn't look good on me. So find what looks good to me. Oh, well, how do I find what looks good to me? Dude, everyone, you know what I mean? Different races, different people, different backgrounds, whatever, are watching this. So we all look different, right? So you need to find a celebrity or find someone that you think looks good and copy what they have. Because if they're similar to you, they're the same race, they're the same type of... Nine times out of ten, that hairstyle or whatever they're doing is probably going to look good on you. I'm not saying it copy exactly what they're doing, but that's kind of a good place to start. Because you see, his haircut fits him. He looks like me. You know what I mean? It's going to work, bro. And obviously, you can adjust it how you want. You start figuring out, okay, maybe, uh, like me, I like low tapers. I do all my stuff myself, but I, I did the fades before. I did the high fades. I did the mid tapers. I did the high, all that crap. None of, I, they all looked good because I still had that good hairstyle, but 
nothing looks better than the low taper so once you start experimenting you find this celebrity you find whatever just do that bro and you're, and you're gonna look better next we're gonna get into this is part of hair is the grooming bro you gotta take care of your facial hair if you have zero facial hair then obviously it does not apply to you if you can grow it grow it if you can't then you can't you know what i mean whatever me i obviously can grow facial hair i learned how to fix my facial hair i learned my grooming myself this is all me all me every two days i go in there with a razor and i line myself up i go in there shave down my beard you know what i mean all this stuff my eyebrows i have naturally thick eyebrows so it's already fine and i just clean up a little bit that's it you know what i mean and i do this every two three days so i constantly look like i'm fresh out of the barbershop this will drastically change your appearance your hair and just your facial hair bro is can completely change if i were to shave my beard right now i would look way different you know what i mean and actually i'm probably gonna do that just to see and i know it's not gonna look i already know but i just want to do it because i think i think it would be a fun experiment you know what i mean but for my beard length i like it short i like like that five o'clock type of shadowy type of just growing in type of look i've grown a thick beard before and I didn't really like it on me. I thought this looks way better to me. So obviously you can experiment. Like I said, not everyone's pin the same thing, but you gotta you gotta learn how to do it. You gotta learn how to do your facial hair. You gotta like I said, look at someone that you think looks attractive, that you think is handsome, that is clearly you know what I mean, your type of your race, whatever you are, dude, similar, and just just follow that guideline because nine seven out of ten is gonna look good on you, and you're gonna be like, damn, I look fly. So you definitely need to learn your hairstyle and the facial grooming. Another thing about the hair, get hair products, especially if you're someone like me that has earlier hair, things like that. Bro, once I learned how to fix my hair, I'll probably put pictures up here, it changed. I'm gonna put a picture of me with long hair and a picture of me with long hair now because I had long hair before. I shaved it all off, grew it curly again, shaved it again, grew it back long. Had Dude, I change all the time. I, you know what I mean? I'm always, that's why I call them rebirths because I literally have looked completely, completely different person. I have it's crazy you know what i mean it's all evolving <laughs> it's rebirths bro and like i said there was a point where i didn't know how to take care of my hair i didn't even take care of my hair i bear i only all i did was wash my hair put conditioner and i never put any products in my hair i and my hair looked bad bro but now i know how to fix my hair i know the product to use i know how to actually style my hair i get compliments on my hair all the time i get compliments in general all the time but my hair i always get compliments on my hair i never got that before I never got compliments in general before, bro. Zero. <laughs> now it's, I can't go out a day without getting a compliment. And it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good. It's not to gas you up. You never want to be big headed, but it's nice to know that, damn, I'm feeling myself. I look fly. I'm confident. And now here, bro, I'm confident. I walk with my chest held high. I don't feel like I'm better than anyone. And it's just, it's great, man. I walk with a new aura, bro. I have a new aura. It just, that's what comes with this, man. But you got to put in the work. That's the thing. You have to effort. You got to put in the work. So anyways, you're going to find hair care. Like I said, I don't know you guys, what hair you have, whatever, but find whatever works, bro. Look, you got to do your research. This is not a night and day thing. Now, if you have a guideline, it, it's, it comes faster. Like I said, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Part of my coaching plan is all this, but that's besides the point. So find your hair care, find the facial grooming, look at a celebrity that's similar to whatever, do what they do, all that stuff. So now we're going to go down to teeth. Teeth is major, bro. Teeth is so, you want to have a nice smile. I have a nice smile. I get complimented on my smile all the time. <laughs> nah, but if you have the luxury to get braces or anything like that, like me, my teeth were, dude, I had, I might look like shark teeth, bro. I had the most craziest teeth ever. Like this one is all the way back here. I had another one up here. This was, bro, I look crazy. I look like a cheese grater you know what i mean that's how bad my teeth was but luckily my mom had a luxury to get me braces i got braces when i was uh, i want to say 15 maybe 15 something like that and obviously it took like what, two years well, however long it took i fixed my teeth and i kept putting the retainers and i kept doing that but that wasn't enough after i fixed my teeth now we gotta whiten the teeth oh well i don't want to get veneers you don't have to get veneers bro you don't have to get none of that all you have to do is take care of your teeth well how do i take care of my teeth well you brush it twice a day bro and two, make sure you get oil pulling. It's from Guru Nando, oil pulling. Push that around your mouth for 10 minutes. Yes, it's annoying. Yes, it feels gross. Yes, it's oil. I'm telling you right now, your teeth are going to look like this once you do that. They are. I get compliments on my teeth all the time, on my smile all the time because I got the braces. 
I know how to whiten my teeth with without getting veneers and all this crap. And the, if you need to get white strips, get that. I don't use that because I use the oil pulling and the girl Nando, there's this, this other mouthwash that they have where it's like a two in one thing. It's uh, peroxide or oxide. I don't, bro, I'm not a chemist or whatever, dude. It's something with a uh, mouthwash or whatever. And you just mix the two, you do that, you brush your teeth. This is the first thing you do, the oil pulling for 10 minutes. You brush your teeth. After you brush your teeth, rinse your mouth. You rinse it with the thing. I'm, in a week, your teeth are gonna be whiter, bro. Literally in like four or five days, seven days, you're gonna see a difference automatically. Automatically, like clear difference, a drastic difference. So do that. I mean, that's all I really have for teeth maxing. Obviously upgrade your smile, upgrade your look. You're gonna look like a different person, man. You're gonna look like a different person, man. Style, now style is major. Style is major. You can either look homeless and look like you don't know how to dress or you can look fly with swag and you know what you're doing, bro. Let's be honest, just look around. People don't know how to dress. They'll wear a pink shirt with green pants and purple shoes. Clowns, like goofy stuff, bro. No, they'll wear too much graphic tees with graphic pants with a graphic shoes and a graphic hat. I'm not saying everyone has to have the same swag, the same style. Everyone has their own style. There's the cowboy look, there's the more biker look, there's the more streetwear type of look. You know what I mean? There's all different looks, but there's some things that are universal that always looks good. I like to stick with things that always look good because, well, one, I like them. I, half of the stuff I'm talking about too, guys, I like it. It's my style. I like the style. I think it looks good and it just looks good, bro. It looks good and it'll look good on anyone. That's the beauty of it. So neutral colors. You want to get your blacks. You want to get your whites. You want to get your tans, your dark browns. All those colors are just neutral. They're light tone, neutral colors. They fit with everything. They work with everything. As far as pants, simple stuff, bro. Black jeans, dark blue jeans, light blue jeans, damn near white white jeans. I got all those things, a couple khakis, a couple of dress pants. But now it's not just about the clothes and the colors. Now that's major too, because you want to look good. You want to look like you color code with your complexion of your skin, with all this stuff. It's not as complicated as it sounds like how I'm explaining it. It's actually really easy to get. Look at this. This is, a, I'm not going to wear this out. Actually, I could wear this out. Actually, this is a fly outfit, to be honest. A brown hat, white Yankees, white beater. This matches with this. Brown, I'm brown. I like the color brown. I would probably wear black pants with this, black shoes, done. Or black pants, white shoes because the white with the white tank and this. Or I would wear brown shoes because of the brown hat. It's not the rocket science, bro. It's really not. And that's on some, some simple outfit things, but obviously, there's different styles, or there's different outfits for different occasions. Dressing up, what are you wearing? What kind of button up are you wearing? Well, how does it look? How does it fit the occasion? How, there's all this stuff, right? So enough about the color coding, cause that you can figure that out. This is why the weight is so important and why I put it as like a one is because you wanna have that snug fit. Guys, a lot of the times the luxury of having that nice physique and body is that you can wear anything and it just looks great as long as the fit is good. All my clothes fit so good, snug. I like snug clothing that, clothing that hug my muscle, that hug my shoulders, that make me stand out, that it hugs my physique. I have a good physique. I, I built my physique over the course of six years. I've done all this and now the clothes, dude, I can wear Walmart tees. Matter of fact, I buy Walmart tees. That's the thing. I buy clothes from Walmart. I don't, you don't need designer clothes. You don't need spend $500 on a jacket, $500 on a shirt, $500 on pants, shoes. You don't need any of that. You can go to Walmart, buy a $5 tee, $10 pants, $20 shoes. What? Actually, no, the shoes, I recommend spending money on shoes and jewelry watches and things like that. If you got to spend a little bit, spend a little bit, bro. Because the shoes, you know what they say about shoes. Hey, the shoes you got to, you know. But as far as the straight pants, you can go buy all this stuff from Walmart, bro. Have my clothes. It's from TJ Maxx, spending $5 on clothes. It doesn't matter. It's the fit, bro. It's the fit. It's the freaking fit. I wear a regular polo shirt to my job every day. A regular buying up cheap stuff, 10 bucks. But I, write the, I buy the right fit, though. And I'm built, though. So when it hugs my shoulders, that shirt looks like it's worth a 1000 bucks. It looks like I went to damn LV and bought this shirt. Dude, this, I bought this shit from TJ Maxx, bro. It's about the physique, it's about the look, and that will drastically change your appearance, drastically. Man, and go on for hours. It's already a long video, but yo, that's why I get in shape, bro. You have to get in shape. Anyways, get clothes that are snug, fit. 
Listen, I know there's different styles with the baggy clothing and do you, man. Like I said, hey, I can't force you to do whatever and I can't and not everyone's style is the same as everyone. But I'll tell you one thing. You can never go wrong with a snug shirt that shows your gains, shows your muscle. You feel good, bro. And you're going to get the compliments. I'm telling you, bro. You're going to get the compliments. And just dress more up. You got to stop dressing like a, like a goofy, like a kid, like a freaking nerd, bro. Stop dressing like a square. Don't wear the damn cargo pants with the freaking... Unless you... Know, they can still... Do, that's the thing. You can do all these outfits, but you just got to know how to rock them and wear them. You know what I mean? But style is major. And uh, like I said, guys, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Act method program. Physique, look maxing, body gain. And obviously, there's different sub genres to everything. Sub modules to everything. The style, the swag, the the how do you wear how do you wear this, how do you wear that, the scent. Let's get into scent. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's jump into scent right now. Your scent is major. Now this this doesn't really change your appearance, but let's bro, this is major. This, this is major. You gotta be a straight killer with the scent, bro. I'm telling you, scent is. I said this in the last video, and I'm gonna say it again. No one likes anyone that smells like body odor, garbage, crap. You don't want to be around a smell like that. So, of course, you don't want to be around someone that smells like that. So, buy perfume, buy cologne, buy some fragrance. Don't go to Axe or, or damn uh, Old Spice. You got to get real fragrances, bro. Learn how to shower. <laughs> Funny, I have to say that. What, what? Dude, learn how to brush your teeth. This is basic stuff, bro. Learn. Get Dove soap. Get a damn deodorant, bro. Put that shit on. Shower twice a day. And get a scent. Get a fragrance. Now, the fragrance, I can go mad into detail with it, but to be honest, you only need really need three fragrances, four fragrances for each season. Summer, winter, daily, and that's pretty much it. That's really three. So that's how you drastically improve your physique. I'm going to end it off here. Hey, that's all it is, man.